Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, Empowered by Magic Needles. This is a beautiful stitch. It has been named as Arcade Stitch. This is Arcade Pattern 1. There are many stitches, many patterns with the name Arcade. So I have given it the name. I have numbered it as number 1. Okay. It is worked with DC's chain ones and you have the single crochet spike stitches all worked to make this pattern. It is a multiple of 6 plus 2 as foundation chains and I worked this with Barbie pink yarn which is Aaron premium acrylic anti pale yarn medium weight 4 and its color is 2036. I worked the foundation chains with 6 mm clover hook and uh, the main with 5 mm clover hook. I shall make the required number of chains and get back to you. I have made 3 repeats of 6 plus 2. To begin with, make 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Chain 1 skip one and single crochet in the next chain three skip one chain and place a single crochet in the next chain now chain three skip three chains and in the fourth chain place a single crochet chain 3 skip 1 and a single crochet in the next chain chain 3 skip 3 and place a single crochet this foundation is very important chain 3 skip one and a single crochet now you will be left with two chains chain 1 skip one and place a single crochet in the last chain This stitch looks like sprinkled uh, little teardrops sprinkled all over. It can be called as spiked arcade 2. Okay. This front side, this the row 1 is the wrong side. For row 2, chain 1, turn, single crochet in the very first stitch. Then skip the next single crochet under this chain 3 loop where you skip just one chain. Make DC chain 1, DC chain 1, DC chain 1, and DC. And then you made a chain of 3 and you skipped 3 chains here make a single crochet in the middle chain of the skipped chain encompassing the three chains so we have made a spiked single crochet here so make it little loose i have made it little tight so let me make it loose little on the looser side give enough ease so pull it up a little bit and encompassing the three chain loop make a single crochet now again we come to the chain three loop with one chain uh, skipped there you make four DC separated by one chain each sorry chain one DC chain 1, DC chain 1, a DC. And again we come to 3 chains, skip 3 chains, make a spiked single crochet here, 
overlapping the three chains that we made and again DC chain 1 DC chain 1 DC chain 1 DC and place single crochet in the last SCF so this completes our row 2 I'll be back with row 3 now for row 3 chain 4 and turn or make turn and make a double crochet in the very first stitch here chain 1 place a single crochet between the first two DCs chain 3 skip the next two DCs and place a single crochet between the last two DCs here that is you are placing a single crochet in the first between first and second DC chain 3 place a single crochet in the third and the fourth DC now chain 3 again go over to the next 4 DC shell place one single crochet here chain 3 and skip the next two DCs under the next chain one space you have a single crochet chain 3 single crochet between the first and the second DC of the next shell chain 3 single crochet under the chain 1 space between the 3rd and the 4th DC now chain 1 and place a double crochet in the last SC here picking that up will be little dicey doesn't matter yeah for row 4 either chain 3 and turn or turn make a double crochet in the very first stitch and one double crochet again in the same stitch chain 1 double crochet in the chain space and now we have to make the spike between the middle DCs, middle two DCs of two rows below here and encompassing this pull up a little this is a spiked SC and make four DC shell here DC chain one DC chain one sorry DC chain one DC so it's a repetition of spike and the DC shells continue till the end wherever you have the three chains here so you make a single crochet spike encompassing from the row below that is you will be working under the chain 1 between the second and the third DC of row 2 and encompass the chain 3 here again in the next chain 3 space shells continue till then I shall meet you at the end here we have come to the end of the row here so place a DC in chain 1 space chain 1 and 2 DCs in the very last stitch and row 5 chain 1 turn single crochet in the very first stitch chain 1 single crochet under the chain 1 space chain 3 it is SC and chain 3 and single crochet between the first and the second DCs of the next DC shell chain 3 single crochet on the chain 1 space between the third and the fourth DC chain 3 continue the pattern this way
chain one and a single crochet here. So this is how fifth row ends. First row six, chain one and turn. Place a single crochet in the very first chain. And under this chain three space, you're going to make the DC shell. DC shell is DC chain one, DC chain one, DC chain one, four DCs separated by one chain each. Sorry, I did not place I did not make the chain one. So DC chain one DC chain one double crochet. Chain one double crochet. So this is DC shell and spike stitch row. So we come to the chain 3 here and under chain 1 and this chain 3 you make a spike, spiked single crochet. Pull it up a little and make. Again continue shell spiked single crochet shell I shall meet you at the end here. Place a single crochet in the very last single crochet here. So, these many rows completes our one pattern repeat. Pattern repeats are repeat pattern 3 to 6. 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 row repeat pattern it is. So, when you repeat a few more times, the pattern will look like this. You have the beautiful spikes. They look like teardrops here. So, this is spiked, spike stitch arcade. So thank you friends for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed the stitch. You can mix and match the stitch with any other past, any other pattern. This pattern can be mixed and matched with any other pattern in your projects. It will look great. And it is uh, very good for your summer wear projects and uh, projects which require lazy effect. Okay. Please do subscribe to Magic Needles channel. Do not forget to hit on the bell icon so that you are notified of the videos that we upload every other day so i shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video friends thank you for now bye have a great day